Hi, and welcome to my quick guide of the quest Jungle Potion. The quest requirement is Druidic Ritual, and there are no stats or item requirements. For the recommended items are two stamina potions with some weight reducing armor since we don't actually have to fight anything during this quest. But we will need to have some food to pass a lot of aggressive monsters up until combat 53. And one of those are poisonous, so bring along a antidote or an anti-poison. Now if you want to multitask during this quest, then you should also bring along a spade so you can get your clue hunter leggings. As well as a weapon to kill a 53 to complete one of the Karamja easy diary tasks. A safe spot for archers and mages is available. For the teleports, just one teleportation method out of here after the quest is completed. Where to start this quest is just next to the hard grove of the teaks and the mahoganies in Taibo Wanai village. Talk to Truvitus and select option 3, 1 and then 2. After the conversation is over, let's head west to the shore. Keep going west until you hit the shore and then go south. Go a bit south, south of the dungeon sign and there you should find some bushes. Green and yellow bushes. South of the dead plant sign, here you'll find some marshy jungle vine. Search it until you find the herb that is inside. This can take between 30 seconds and 10 minutes, so grab some popcorn and watch another video. Now you want to grab 3 of these if you are planning on completing the Zogor Flesh Eaters as well as Legends Quest. Okay, these times are just getting ridiculous. Once you've gotten your first or third grimy snake weed, Clean one of them and let's return to Trifitus. Once you've returned to Trifitus, use your cleaned herb on him and he will request for the second herb. Next, let's go northeast. There are only 2 out of 5 herbs which take this long, by the way. Keep running northeast from Truvitus' hut. At the dungeon sign, go east. And just keep going east until you see the harpy bug swarms. North of them, you will find a lot of palm trees. Some of them have a search option, the bigger ones. Search it and you will get an article. If you're planning on doing the Legends quest, grab a second one from another tree. And then let's return to Trufitus. Clean one of the two herbs and use it on Trufitus. Alright, herb number 3. Let's go southeast and go around and following the red fence. Keep following the red fence outside until you hit... until you are south of the center hut. They'll find some darkish area on your minimap and two everlasting fires. Search around it and search the scorched earth. Once you have this herb, let's clean it and return to Trufitus. Use a seat of foil on Trufitus and he will request the fourth herb. Next, let's go back southeast. But instead of following the red fence or the bamboo fence, just keep going southeast, directly southeast, 
until you hit a mine. Here at the mining sign, go to the southeastern part and you'll find three grey rocks. Search any of the three and you'll find some Valencia moss. Clean it and let's return to Trufitus. Use the Valencia moss on Trufitus and he will request the final herb. Next, let's return to the Harpy Bug Swarms east northeast. Once you're back at the Harpy Bug Swarms, go north to the shore and then go west. Keep following the shore going west until you see the dungeon sign. Now, if you've brought your spade, you will need to go north of the dungeon sign and go stand north of these two sand rocks. Dig with your spade and you'll find the Clue Hunter outfit. Next, let's go south and climb down the dungeon. Search the rocks and yes, go down. Next, go south. Keep going south until the cave turns east. Go to the southwestern corner and here you'll find two moss covered walls. Search the southern one. Search the southern fungus covered cavern wall. None of the ogres will be able to attack you if you're standing next to the southern one. Now once again, this can take between 30 seconds and 10 minutes. Now if you're planning on completing the Zogor Flesh Eaters quest, then be sure to grab two. What? 10 seconds? Really? Alright, once you've found your first or second herb, if you want to complete a Karamja Easy Diary, then kill one of these level 53 Jogers. Just stand next to the southern moss covered wall and this will be a safe spot. Just kill one of these jokers and this will be one of the Karamja Easy Diary tasks completed. Once it has been defeated, let's go north. And let's return to the handholds here at this big rock. Click to continue and you're back at the surface. Next, let's clean one of these rogue purse and let's return to Trufitus. Use it on him to complete our quest. The fifth and the final herb, let's use Rogue's Purse on Trophitus. And congratulations, you have completed Jungle Potion Quest. You are awarded with one quest point and 775 herb lore experience. And you've now also unlocked a quest requirement for a bunch of quests. One of them being My Arms Big Adventure, Shadow Village, Taibo Banai Trio, and also Zogor Flesh Eaters. So if you're planning on completing Zorg Flesh Eaters, you will need to have one extra snake weed as well as an extra rogue purse. And if you're planning on completing Legends Quest, you will need an extra grimy snake weed or a clean one and a article. This was my quick guide how to complete Jungle Potion Quest. It wasn't really that quick, but still, hopefully it has helped. Subscribe, rate and comment. Okay, thanks, bye.